Good evening, dear viewers. You are watching Kume News on RTVC. In our major stories today, Christian Missionary Fellowship International ended last Friday the 40-day ministry fasting praise and prayer crusade. From the headquarters in Kume, in Cameroon and in nations across the globe, the saints gathered to celebrate the Lord for the victories won. Meanwhile, the team of the National Evangelistic Tour stormed last weekend in the town of Ngawundere. More details in the short while. Stay tuned. Brethren of the headquarters of the Christian Missionary Fellowship International gathered in their numbers on 25th November 2022, 40th day of the Fasting Praise and Prayer Crusade 2022, to celebrate the Lord who has won a great victory and carried the entire community throughout the 40-day battle. It was a moment of praise and thanksgiving for the Fasting Praise and Prayer Crusade of the ministry all over the world. Indeed, the provisional figures indicated the following. A total of 72 nations where the crusade took place, a total of 797 places where the saints were praying, and a total of 79,633 hours of prayer raised to God. The Lord reached out to his children through his word. We received the word from the Lord. We received the word from the Lord. You have fasted, prayed, and celebrated me. You have come with me to my battles. You have come with me to my burdens. You have come with me to my victories. A word full of encouragement and gifts from the Lord, among which the fullness and power of God given to his people. And the people indeed received this fullness through the infilling of the Holy Spirit. The saints were further lavished with blessings of all sorts from the Lord through the mouth of his servant. They were also led to uproot every plant, everything the Heavenly Father has not planted in them. Sickness, curses, bondage, evil ties, self, etc. As the meeting ended, it is a people free that praised their God. The breaking obviously took place after, but not before Brother Nicola Akoa gives directives relating to it. All glory and praise be given to the Lord for this fasting praise and prayer crusade. <laughs> On Sunday the 27th of November 2022, the saints of the Kume Center in the headquarters gathered in Goshen for a special joint service. The service was special not only because it was the first after the fast, but it was also a time of thanksgiving spiced up with the blessing of a wedding. To lead the assembly in thanksgiving, Pastor Sama, the leader of the center, 
explains the miracle it takes to fast one day. He said, it takes special grace and anointing from God to fast one day. With this background, he led the brethren to thank God for the following. For the Lord will carry the community in the 40-day battle. For the grace to follow the leader in this battle. For all who fasted one day to 40 days. For the leadership of Brother Theodore during the fast. For Brother Alphonse Tawet's faithfulness in being there throughout the crusade. For the four-page message the Lord has given us and to each of us. For the Lord who has promoted the center from 19 people who fasted 40 days complete in the year 2017 to 81 complete 40 days fast this year as of now. For the gift of people committed. For those in the security department who fasted 40 days, exactly 13 people in all. Pastor Sama specified that during the fast, many among the security department received directions about their life partners. And indeed, the marriage blessed was the marriage of Diodone from the security department and Radvin. The event was rich in sound and color under the coordination of Pastor Eli Aritoyap. The blessing of the couple was carried out with a specific burden that they know had fusion. The wedding was also an opportunity to pray for those who want to get married, both brothers and sisters. Pastor Jean de Dieu Wachi, leader of the work in Cameroon, pursues with his tour in the Mayo Canada Night Spiritual Province to raise and train leaders and to strengthen churches. During the last seven days, he visited at least seven churches and localities, including Mindif, Gidigiru, Muvuldaye, Maga, Muturaya, Gurba, and Salak in Marwa. In the various localities, Pastor Jean de Dieu ministers the word as well as salvation, healing and deliverance. For the past week, news reaching us indicate the following. 298 conversions, 64 healings and 67 restorations. Praise Before leaving the spiritual province, Pastor Jean de Dieu commissioned Boda Roger and Boda Gregory to pursue the work there for 15 days. He blessed them with the favor of God on all sides as he commissioned them. It should be specified that Pastor Jean de Dieu gathered the leaders of the various tribes of a spiritual province and reminded them that they are officials of the mighty army of God and emphasized on the qualifying elements which are hard work, inner and outer strength, faith, humility, courage, fullness and anointing of the Holy Spirit as well as the urgency to have a bigger flock. The Mayo Canada Nai spiritual province is to welcome Brother Theodore next 15 December. Pastor Jean de Dieu left the spiritual province on 29 December to Douala, where he was to take off for East Africa. <laughs> On Friday, 25th of November 2022, over 1,200 saints of the Yaoundé Spiritual Province were gathered on the occasion of the closing ceremony of the 40-day praise, prayer and fasting crusade. This event was marked with a euphoria of rejoicing, praise and thanksgiving. Sister Céline Bija and Sister Annette Aladom shared with the saints on how to break their fasts so as to avoid health complications. The brethren then connected to the headquarters and listened to the prophecy from the Lord, which moved a great number of the saints. Over 154 38 to 40 day fasts were carried out. Meanwhile, 794 three day fasts were recorded. The crusade in Yaoundé registered a total number of 15 hours 14 minutes of prayer daily, thus amounting to a total of 4,488 hours in 40 days. Our 
after a bombang last weekend, the National Evangelistic Tour, under the leadership of Pastor Joseph Ngandu, stormed the town of Ngandewe from the 26th to the 28th of November 2022. For three days, they held the evangelistic crusade themed Jesus saves, heals, delivers, and blesses perfectly. It is finished in the Onarev neighborhood, precisely at a place known as Bakus. Every evening, the place was crowded by people who came to listen to the gospel preached both in songs and in words, and to be ministered salvation, healing, and deliverance as well. Throughout the three days, 254 people were snatched out of the kingdom of darkness to light. 48 people were restored to the Lord. 133 genuine healings and 177 genuine deliverances were recorded. Besides, 330 copies of God's love and forgiveness were distributed as well as 50 copies of discipleship at any cost. Note that the campaign has granted the Christian Missionary Fellowship International in Goundaway to gain more visibility in the town. After this great victory, the team, grateful to the Lord, is heading to the next stop, Bafia, in the center region of Cameroon. Praise the Lord! On the 25th of November 2022 at 2 p.m. prompt, the church in Accra gathered at the Naaman Center to celebrate the victory of the Lord at the end of the 40-day fasting praise and prayer crusade. The meeting started with thanksgiving for the 40-day journey as the choir led the brethren to praise, sing, and proclaim the victories of the Lord. The brethren then connected to the headquarters to listen to the word of the Lord to the community at the end of the fast. Great was the brethren's joy listening to the Lord's word and the blessings lavished on them through Brother Theodore. The saints then spent time in thanksgiving to God for different aspects of the Rema, and this was followed with proclamations. The leaders also led the brethren to pray alongside the headquarters, uprooting every plant that the Heavenly Father has not planted, according to Matthew 15 verse 13. As it has become a custom, the saints congratulated and encouraged each other with gifts. But I read Fred Lekunze, missionary number one to Ghana, closed the meeting by giving instructions about the breaking of the fast and praying for the brethren's protection. 326 hours were invested in prayer, with an average of 8 hours 15 minutes per day. Note that in total, 226 hours were invested in prayer, with an average of 8 hours and 15 minutes per day. While the following fasting statistics were recorded, one fast of 40 days complete, 13 fast of 21 days complete, 15 fast of 14 days complete, one fast of 12 days complete, one fast of 10 days complete, 14 fast of 7 days complete, 3 fast of 5 days complete, 55 fast of 3 days complete. That is a total of 103 complete fast of between 3 days and 40 days. Then, 2 people fasted 21 days partial, 4 people fasted 7 days partial, and 8 people fasted 3 days partial. Praise the Lord for this fasting praise and prayer crusade in Ghana. Saints of the Christian Missionary Fellowship International Rwanda gathered in the Kibagabaga Center at the headquarters in Kigali to celebrate the Lord on the last day of the fasting praise and prayer crusade. More than 42 brethren attended the meeting. Note that the brethren in Rwanda gathered in 14 places, praying on average 87 hours per day cumulatively. Note further that 13 brethren fasted 40 days complete, while many others fasted complete and partial fasts of between 1 to 39 days. Besides, the brethren gathered on 28th November for their first service after the crusade. It was a moment to thank God, read the Rema. During the service, a prayer crusade was launched to maintain the grounds gained during the fast.
This brings us to the end of our news edition for today. Before we close, a reminder of the ongoing Proofreaders retreat at the headquarters. Participants from various spiritual provinces, including Northwest, Southwest, Yaoundé, and the headquarters, have gathered for the 10 day retreat. More details in upcoming news editions. Visit our YouTube channel RTVC English for more updates. Thanks for your kind attention and God bless you.